Well, in terms of a pro sports atmosphere, I cannot think of anything bigger. This place is deafening as Conor McGregor makes his latest walk to the octagon. Every time McGregor walks to the octagon, John, it feels like the Super Bowl. I can imagine that's the only thing that matches the energy inside an arena when the notorious one hits the curtain. People love this guy. People love this guy because of his ability, though. They love the fact that he can go out there and put a person out with one left hand. They love the fact that he has shown an ability to compete at the top of the sport for a really long time. And they also love the fact that he does not apologize for being him. He is Conor McGregor. You're going to love him or you're going to hate him, but he won't change. And many have wondered aloud as to whether or not he would be back competing in the UFC. But in terms of scratching his competitive itch, there's only one proven ground in the world on which he can do it. It is the Octagon. Great to see Conor McGregor back tonight. has graced the octagon, he's ready to go. So all eyes are on Khabib Nurmagomedov. Daniel, as your former teammate, makes his return to competition here tonight. A lot of us felt like this moment would not materialize. He's chasing 30 and 0 now. He's chasing 30 and 0. I mean, he's one of the only guys to get out of this thing clean. Nobody goes undefeated unless your name is Khabib Nurmagomedov. The guy has fought the best. He is a guy that lets you know what his intentions are, and he goes out there and he works the game plan. He's going to get in your face. He's going to try to overwhelm you with his wrestling. And you look at his boy, Hasbula, in the corner. Habib Nurmagomedov looking for a big night. The Dagestani social media legend, Hasbula Magomedov, in the corner of Habib Nurmagomedov tonight. Habib Nurmagomedov set to fight the notorious Conor McGregor. And now our kill the tape for this lightweight scrap. Here's Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the former UFC featherweight champion of the world and the former UFC lightweight champion of the world. The notorious Connor McGregor! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the former UFC lightweight champion and the member of the UFC Hall of Fame, Habib the Eagle, Nimagomeda! Herb Dean, third man in the octagon tonight. All right, so here we go, round one, Khabib Nurmagomedov and Conor McGregor. I think Conor's gonna switch some things up for the rematch tonight. Well, he has to, and the first thing he has to do is switch the approach to the fight. First fight, he said he was very defense-minded. Now he needs to go out and fight as Conor McGregor does. Take the pace to Khabib, but just be ready to defend his take -off. Oh, that's a big connection there for McGregor, DC. I mean, big strike landed for Ireland's favorite son, Conor McGregor. Oh, 
right-left combo by McGregor. Well, few fighters manage distance as efficiently and as well as Conor McGregor, and there's that left hand finding its home early. Oh, he does a great job of setting you up, man. You saw it in the Jose Aldo fight. The guy would just step back a little bit and bang, drops the straight left on you that can end your night. He not only throws this fast, he also is so accurate, and that allows him to finish so many fights. Starting to close up. Got to get that end swell on it between rounds if we get there. Now, yeah, big elbow. Good shot there to win the takedown. Nice shot by Nermago Meta. This is where he wants to be. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Changes levels now, DC. Oh, man, he was in a single, got to a high crotch, rotates the lock, and throws what a massive take now. Marco Medov's got him in a crucifix. Gonna work from the top now. Oh, huge ground strike there. I can see the cut man's actually getting excited. Let's go. Push, push, nice push. transition. Oh. I need you to use that wrist control. Khabib's attempting a triangle here. Let's see if he can finish the deal. Oh, good technique there. He's got the triangle choke locked in. Oh, how good is that as he gets out? That is great submission defense, keeping everything short and not allowing his opponent to get the submission victory. Two minutes now to go in the opening round. Takedown defense holds up. Well, he is really seeing things well offensively here tonight, and he's constantly swelling there on his opponent. You gotta address this now, because it's only going to get worse. Your opponent is not gonna let you, let you off the hook. You gotta move, you gotta change something to try to deter him from going to that spot. Wide right, late in the round here, DC, and Conor McGregor doing what he does best, really having his way on the feet. Yeah, you know, it's always the striking. He's the type of guy that can really dictate and control a fight with his hands and all of his striking, with his striking abilities. And that's exactly what he's doing tonight, and because of it, he's winning. Big shot lands for both guys. Out of range with that one. Well, he just missed on another strike there. He has not been efficient with his attack here tonight. And offensively, I think his approach leaving a lot to be desired. Got to figure out a way to conserve some energy here moving forward. Nice. Nicely done. Now he gets a more dominant position with the underhook. He is going to start to drive me over and over. You got to be careful here. You got to move. Miss with that jab attempt there. Flips that left hand. 30 seconds now to go in the round. Oh, nice punch from the clinch. Oh. Strong outside leg kick. Oh! Oh, right hand. All right, here, final seconds of round one. Oh, now lands a kick to the body. Oh, he hurt him again, bro. Oh, oh and there's the horn. The round is over, and that came just at the right time. He got absolutely buckled by that body shot, and it came just before the end of the round. Saved by the bell, I wouldn't argue otherwise. Back to the stool he goes. We'll see if he can recover. All right, so there's the horn at the end of the round. Multiple takedowns landed for him over the previous five minutes. And you know what, John? Even more importantly, look at the opponent now. He's afraid to pull the trigger because he's been taken down so many times. Getting taken down is one thing, but getting it, having it happen to you continuously 
really does make you gun shy. And right now, he's very tentative to let his offense go because of the fear of getting taken Ready. down back to the mat again. Ready. Good. Round two on the way. Conor McGregor left hand is just an absolute piston and it lands again. It's like an atabomb. Like he hits people and they fall down. And he understands the power that he possesses. So he's willing to throw it over and over again. I just keep thinking back to him and Eddie Alvarez. Every time he hit him, he just knocked him out of his shoes. Conor McGregor's left hand is as good of a single strike as there is in the UFC. Yeah, he needs to register. <laughs> oh, he's hurt. He's hurt away. Well, he rocked him pretty good, but didn't sort of smell blood in the water, and now his opponent's back in the I mean, blood's in the water. You got to go and get him. You got to go find the finish. You cannot let him off the hook like that, because now he will be motivated to try to go and hurt you as you hurt him. All right, well, that blow is busting from that count. Whoa! You cannot take those leg kicks clean like that. Well, DC, no denying he's winning this fight. And it's got to feel pretty good if you're a fighter. You put in the work, and it all comes together on fight. When it all comes together, nothing feels better to go out there and implement the game plan that you guys have worked on in training camp. And you heard him again. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the ladder. Big left hand there. Ooh. Nice leg kick. That one connected. Big right hand. Oh, look at the welts all over that right thigh. Really starting to bruise now. Oh, beautiful shot there with the hook. I'm not sure his opponent saw that one come. His opponent is taking straight punch. He's hooking right around the guard to land and land efficiently. He's gonna try to take down. There you go. Mago Mano gets the takedown. Now, this is a position you don't see every day. They're in the north south position now on the ground. Let's go. Gonna try to take his opponents back here, and he does. Really using his physicality to his advantage now. He lifted up the neck and snuck his arm underneath to try to get a choke. Oh, man, he's getting deep. Oh, wow, he got out and melted him. What a beautiful display of submission defense. Not panicking whenever he was beat so greatly by that rear naked choke. All right, so he can't get it here again. Good awareness by the defensive fighter. Oh, he's setting up another submission now. Oh, compromising spot here. Triangle choke is locked in. He takes tonight by way of submission, and he bided his time there. He stayed patient, waited for an opening, and then when it was there, he certainly capitalized to get the tap here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. Just watch how slowly he approaches the submission, though. He never rushes. He takes his time, but it's his trickiness. It's his ability to trick people into going to the floor with him that puts them in danger and finishing fights. All right, Bruce Buffer is in there with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called the stop to this contest at three minutes, 18 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by tap out due to a triangle choke, Habib the Eagle, Mabu All right, so a lot of fighters have suffered from a similar fate against Habib Mago Menop. You heard it there from Buff. He gets it done by submission tonight. I mean, this is his world. When you're having to grapple with Habib Nurmagomedov.